Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Olivia and I'm a cinematographer and video editor. And today I'm going to be explaining Canon picture profiles. If you've been using Canon DSLRs or mirrorless cameras, you may have noticed a setting called picture style and wanted to know what that meant or what you could use them for. So I decided to make this video to explain that. So picture styles are presets that allow you to adjust various characteristics of your image as it relates to the colors. I did a video a while ago about white balance, which explained the importance of setting your white balance properly so that your colors are represented true to your scene in your image. If you want to check that out, uh, I will link it at the top or in the description box below. When it comes to the color of your image, whether it's photo or video, there are baseline things that you want to do and make sure are correct. And then there are things that you stack on top of that baseline or that foundation to achieve the look that you want. So things like white balance, exposure, and focus form the baseline of your image. And things like picture profiles or LUTs build on top of that to add more contrast or a creative style. And you can add even more in the editing process, but that's for another video. So when you look at the settings of your Canon camera, you will see a few options. Standard, portrait, landscape, fine detail, neutral, faithful, and monochrome. Standard is your basic preset and makes your image more vivid, sharp, and crisp. This setting is great for almost any situation. If you're unsure of what to pick, then I would leave it on standard. Portrait is best for portraits. It smooths out skin tones, but it will give you slightly less sharpness. Landscape will give you more vivid blues and greens with much more sharpness, which makes it perfect for landscapes. Fine detail is great if you really need the textures of your image to come through and you don't plan on doing a lot of editing. Neutral will lower contrast and color tones, giving you what we call a flatter image. This setting is intended for people who want to do a lot more editing. You can fine tune your colors in the editing process better using this setting. Faithful is similar to neutral, but it adjusts the colors to reflect a color temperature of 5200. If you want to know more about color temperatures, then I recommend you watch my video on white balancing. Monochrome is for black and white images. Now, another thing I should mention is that within each preset, you can go in and fine tune them even more by adjusting specific values. You'll see at the top here, a few letters and symbols. These stand for strength, fineness, threshold for sharpness, contrast, saturation, and color tone. If you like a particular preset, but you want to adjust some of these finer details, you can click on a preset and go into the settings of that specific preset and adjust everything accordingly. In my opinion, the only thing you may want to adjust here are things like your sharpness and contrast, because you may want to have more control of that in the editing process, especially if you're going to use things like LUTs, which are basically color presets, but in the editing world. So I hope this video helped you understand color profiles better and hopefully you can use them on your next shoot. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe and follow me on all of my social channels. And I will catch you in the next video.